Good day, everybody. This is Joe from Joe's Golden Garage here. People have been asking, people have been asking, so I am complying. Um, I got the two expeditions together. Um, the one on the left is my um, folks 2013 Expedition XLTEL. Uh, the one on the right, it was also my folks. They bought it new in 04, but only kept it a year before they sold it to my aunt. Um, and I've got them both here side by side, and let's just kind of compare the two. They both have the 5.4. They uh, both have pretty low miles. I think my aunt's 04 is approaching 100K. Uh, but I think it's still in the 90s and um, The one on the left the 13 is uh, got 73,000 miles, but they're both five fours This one's a four-wheel drive. That one's two-wheel drive Both been dealer service well maintained actually the 04 is probably a little bit cleaner than the 13 because it lives the garage life right there next to the never driven yeah, never driven. That's a 15 model, and I think it has 13,000 miles. Anyway, let's do, uh, these are pretty cold starts. I just uh, started them long enough to move them over here, uh, which only took a few seconds, because there's my mom watering something at her house. Um, so I just moved it from her driveway to my aunt's driveway. So let's do some startups here. Let's see what we got. This. Boy, I have a hard time with this one. Son of a gun. Wish I had a gun. Okay. Five foot Triton, three valve. Neither one of these engines have given any problems. They've been uh, trouble free. Okay. 5.4 Triton. I mean, I don't even think, I don't even know if an alternator's been put on this one before. Now that I've said something, she's gonna need one. <laughs> now someone comment below and let me know, why do these two engines look different on top? This one has 310 horsepower. That one has 260. Uh, I believe this one has 365 pound-feet of torque, and I believe that one is 350 pound-feet. Um, that one's a four-speed automatic, while this one is a six-speed automatic. This one feels quicker to me, uh, but it should. It's a little more power, but it's longer. Um, I got the noses lined up pretty dead even, so you can see how the EL has about a foot on the uh, regular XB. Well, I don't know, maybe not quite a foot. I may have pulled this one up a little too far, but we'll do a start up here. Let's just start up. I don't know why I have a hell of a time cranking a car when I got a camera in my hand. Runs like a top. You know what? This one has more miles on it than I thought. 
It's got almost 115,000 on it. Shoot, I thought it was still in the 90s. We're up to 115. Woo wee, this thing's getting long in the tooth. <laughs> get a little more fan noise with this one. Oh, well I see why. These are using electric fans where this one used the big uh, clutch type fan. Yeah, no wonder it's louder. But either way, both of them run just terrific. And have been great engines. No problems. No, you know, no, what, what was it? Cam uh, phaser things. No problems with that. We'll go ahead and drive, um, We'll go ahead and drive the 12 real quick and then we'll come back and drive the 04. But not 12, the 13. Let's go do our zero to 60. Hope Mr. Officer's not sitting down there. He likes to see you down here on the weekends. Let's see what we got here. She's always had the run. Oh, wheel spin. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, the wheel spin slowed us down there because it caused a upshift a second. To be a bigger mama, this thing is quicker. Those six speeds, uh, 310 horsepower compared to 260, you know, that's what, 50 more horse? You can definitely feel it in uh, this newer model. Um, but, you know, the 04 is no slouch. It gets out of its own way. I had an 03 that my wife drove for several years. And, man, I could cruise 80 miles an hour, 85. I mean, it was a cruiser. Now, it drank gas. They both do. This one has the heated and cooled seats, which is nice. I mean, this is just an XLT. Uh, and it does have the... Um, you know, the Microsoft Sync where you can Bluetooth your music and do all that. Um, and it has a backup camera up there built into the rear view mirror. Um, so, you know, even though it's all, you know, a little older and it doesn't have the optional head unit uh, that you could get on like the Limiteds and the Eddie Bauer, it still, you know, will Bluetooth do your music and they managed to squeeze a tiny little backup camera in up there. Um, but this thing drives great. I mean, just such a great, it feels a lot smaller than it really is. It's very light on its feet. Um, it doesn't feel like, you know, basically an excursion. <laughs> an Expedition EL is pretty big. Um, so, you know, great vehicle. I'd love to find one of these for my, uh, my next wife. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I'll be back with the 04. Oh wow, someone's in front of us for once. <laughs> that never happens. All right, let's straighten her out. Let's see what's going on. All right, here we go to the floor. quick as the 13 EL but I mean hey she's down 50 horsepower she's slinging it through a four speed automatic sapomatic um you know they made quite a this was a good expedition 03 04 05 06 I guess they kind of started changing them upgrading the chassis a little bit in 07 08 somewhere in there um 
like I said, the 13 drives so much lighter. It feels like it weighs so much less. This feels heavy. And of course it's slower, so that makes it feel heavier. But it's still not bad. Still a good old truck, man. 100 and I finally got the miles to pull up. Let's see, hang on. Bridge. 114, 787. Not bad for an 04. That's pretty low miles. I thought it had 90 something, but it's got a few more than that. But this one has uh, been super reliable, trouble free, except the transmission went out at about 90,000 miles and my aunt had to have it uh, replaced. Um, and that's the only money she has spent on this truck. Uh, and I'm really surprised the transmission went out, but it did because she dealer services her cars maintains them well keeps them in the garage do, she doesn't really drive them that much uh you know this is the one she drives the most and it only has 114k for an 04 um and then of course her lexus is five years old and only has 12 or 13 thousand miles on it so uh you know well kept i mean you don't see these where the steering wheel's not all them and the seats are destroyed i mean look at that passenger seat that son of a gun, look down there in the floor. All the plastics. This truck has not been abused. And the back seat, it, I, I can't get my camera around there really, but it, you know, this thing's never hauled kids. It's not been a kid hauler. Uh, she has, she does have one grandchild, my aunt, uh, that's seven, but you know, she sits back there with her legs crossed. She's not allowed to eat or drink or do nothing. I mean, she shakes people's hands and you know, she's like Miss Prim and Proper. So there it is, folks. A little comparison between old expedition and newer expedition old <laughs> old and older let's just say let's just put it that way old and older but they are great trucks hard to beat you just got to find one if you're looking for one on the used market you just got to find one that's not been beat down by a family you know just beat down check that engine out good get service history these things will last a long time with very little trouble that tahoe right there has had three engines put in it my mom owns that house and the lady has lived there for about 10 years and she has had three engines put in that tahoe uh the the first engine swap she had to pay for of course but uh it got when it went bad it was replaced under warranty for the third time yeah and and why it went out who knows because five three is a good motor too by gm anyway y'all have a great day get unplugged here and we'll see y'all next time like subscribe comment please free to subscribe in case you didn't know that oh same paint color scheme i never really noticed that before <laughs> until now appreciate you stopping by see this one's a little more that's a hole stains and i, I detailed the crap out of this thing about six months ago this one's a little more beat on than that one <laughs> But yeah, y'all have a great day and thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Peace.